to about oh, four or five million right around there for making the NBA Finals. But when you look at Al Horford, I mean, and this is why I think this Boston Celtics team has destiny. They brought Al Horford back to, 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 to the, to the mold. Now, Al left Boston, went to Philly, didn't work out with Joe Embiid. Left there, went to Oklahoma City. They even sat him down. And nobody wanted Al Horford but the Boston Celtics. Bring him back, and all of a sudden, he's the Al Horford who left in the first place. If you remember, his first tour of duty with Boston was very, very good. Uh, he just took the money at, and went to Philadelphia. Sam, look who we see right now. M.A. Udoka, first-year head coach. And remember where this team was on January 6th. They were in 11th place in the East. Now they're representing the East in the NBA Finals. But I will say this about that man, Emi Adoka. He stood steadfast. When they had a losing record, he came to that podium every night, and he talked about their inability to play as a team, not passing, not trusting, not making that extra pass. And then Marcus Smart comes out and seconds his coach and, and calls Jayden, Jason Tatum and, 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 and Brown to the mat. And they didn't like it. Right? They, he put that mirror to their face, but I give Tatum and Brown credit. That's tough when, some, when your teammate does that public. You have to be a man, and you have to look in the mirror and say, is my teammate and my coach telling the truth? And if the answer is yes, now it's on me to change my play, my attitude, and my behavior. So give, uh, give the coach, coaching staff and Marcus Smart credit, but give Tatum and Brown credit because you've seen it a lot a long time, Sean. Mm -hmm. A lot of players, especially star players, would have taken that the wrong way. They, don't they like took it. it the right way, yep. and they're going to the NBA Finals because of it. Yeah. Celtics took a 15-point lead at the end of the first quarter. We know now that they're 22-0 in Game 7s uh, when they lead after one. That 15-point lead, the most they've ever had in a Game 7 after one quarter. How critical was that? Even though Miami fought back, but to get out to that lead early where it was just insurmountable. Well, not only get out to the lead, but getting out to the lead on the road mm -hmm. in, in, in Miami Arena uh, where, you know, they've got the crowd against you. And they basically brought the entire...